Hey guys, welcome back to Brooklyn Jake Nick, and today we're going to be building this editing PC. We're going to walk you through all the parts that we bought for it and how we built it, so keep watching. In our build, we chose to go with the new AMD Ryzen 3700X CPU because of its high core count and single-threaded capabilities. This is going to be really important in our editing PC build, and it is our prime component today. Ahead of time, we picked up the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition because we wanted an aftermarket cooling solution that has been proven to work. Up next, we have the memory, and in this case, our budget allowed for 32 gigabytes of Ballistics DDR4 3200. For editing purposes, it was really important to us to get the 32 gigabytes or more um, to keep everything smooth. The red color didn't cost any extra and add some flair. For our storage, we went with the 3 terabyte Barracuda drive. It has decent speeds and ample storage for the filming that we will be doing. Thanks to the generosity of family, we were able to secure an unused 240GB M2 drive to speed up our boot times and application launch times. In editing, the GPU doesn't matter as much, but we still went with a nice ROG Strix GeForce GTX 1650, which should get the job done nicely. In order to future-proof our build a little bit, we picked up an ASRock X570 motherboard with multiple PCI ports and plenty of USB 3.2 ports. To power this build, we picked up a local brand BD Gold Plus power supply. We shot for about 150 watts more power than what we needed, so we ended up with a 650 watt power supply. Other than that, we grabbed a cheap unbranded ATX mid tower and a few extra cooling fans. for watching we hope you enjoyed this quick little build of our new editing PC and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below but until next time please subscribe sure please subscribe <laughs> bye